Hello everyone, uh, my name is Shivam and today we are going to study about the topic solution of a triangle. So um, solution of a triangle is a topic or a properties of a triangle is a topic which uh, does not directly uh, asked in IIT J or any other engineering exam but it, it is used uh, in various topics okay like uh, it is used in physics also. So uh, before uh, discussing about the solution of a triangle, we must discuss about the properties of a triangle first. So uh, there is a triangle. Um, there is a triangle. Let's say this is A B C A. We name this as A B C. Okay. So their sides be A A. A B is A and A C is C and B C is B. Okay. So the angle opposite to B uh, side B is A, C and B that is ABC. Okay. So uh, in the properties of the triangle, we uh, first of all, we discuss about the laws of sine and we will dis discuss about the different laws, laws of sine, laws of cosine, projection formula, areas of the triangle, Nypert analogy and MN theorem. So uh, we first basically discuss about the in the session we are going to discuss about the law of sines. Okay, so uh, talking about the triangle, let's say there is a triangle. Uh, let's suppose this is a triangle, scalene triangle, ABC. A, B, N, C. Okay, so. Uh, uh, let's say this uh, the side opposite to the angle C will be this is angle C the side opposite to angle C will be C and the side opposite to angle B will be B and the side opposite to angle A will be A the trick uh, the, the easy trick to learn this like uh, many of the students got confused in this so uh, the easy trick to remember this is to at the um, the side opposite to the angle is equal, uh, like similar like the angle a is opposite to side a angle b is opposite opposite to side b and angle c is opposite to side uh, c so what uh, sine formula says or the sine law of sine says that a over uh, sine a sine a b over sine b is equal to c over sine c okay so uh, if we are preparing for any other uh, engineering exam or any other uh, examination we don't need to um, we not uh, we don't need any explanation of this but if we are preparing for iitg we must know about the how how this came so uh, let's prove this let's suppose there is a triangle uh, abc and uh, we are given here that uh, sine a uh, a over sine A is equal to B over sine B is equal to C over sine C. Uh, not it's not small B, it's capital B. So uh, it's uh, A over sine A, B over sine B, C over sine C. We have to prove this. Okay. So uh, let's go. Now, so uh, let AD here, we had a construction uh, and let AD be the perpendicular on the side bc okay from uh from the vertex a okay so in triangle abd you can see in triangle triangle a b and d you can see that sine b uh, here sine b uh, we know about the trigonometry uh, in trigonometry uh, in class 10th we have studied about this that sine B sine of any angle is equal to perpendicular over hypotenuse. Okay, so the perpendicular in triangle ABD is AD. So this is equal to AD over AB. So the length of AD is, uh, let's say AD is, the length of AD is not given here. So AD over the length of AB is C so the length of AD will be C uh, small c 
sine b. Okay, so uh, this is the length of uh, AD. We put this as a first or uh, no problem. So we put this as a A. Okay, so next is in triangle. You can see the triangle in triangle ADC. In triangle ADC. So in triangle ADC or ACD sine c is equal to again sine c is equal to ad over ac ac so we can find ac here uh, sorry we can find the ad here so ad here is ac the length of ac is c Wait a second. The length of AC here is B. So we'll put B here. Not C. So uh, you're going to put B here. So it's B sine C. Sine C. So uh, let this be. Find B. Now, comparing both A and B here, the point A and point B. So, when we compare them, both are equal to, like, both LHS are equal, left-hand sides are equal, that is AD. So, while comparing, we'll get AD is equal to AD, that means C sine B, C sine B is equal to B sine C. So um, we can say that sine B over B is equal to sine C over C. Okay. So uh, sine B over B is equal to sine C over C. Similarly, when we uh, draw another per perpendicular uh, from B, uh, fr uh, when we draw another perpendicular from uh, B to AC or C to AB, we'll get, similarly, we get sine A over A is equal to sine B over B. So, uh, when we uh, compare them both, like uh, this is the first one and this is the second one. Let's say this equation be first and second. So, when we compare them both, uh, we'll get sine A over A is equal to sine B over B is equal to sine C over C. So, uh, we can use this, uh, we can also write this as A over sine A is equal to B over sine B is equal to C over sine C. Okay, so uh, the sine rule is generally used to express sides of a, um, we have expressed the sides of a triangle in terms of sine of angles. Okay. We can see that here sides of a triangle sides of a triangle is uh, supposed to be represented in the form of sines of uh, angles and also the angles in the form of sides okay so let's say um, let's uh, solve uh, one question for this and we'll get know about uh, something more um, about this we'll get to know something more about this so in any triangle, in any triangle ABC, this is the question. In triangle ABC, let's say 
summation of a uh, sin b minus sin c minus sin c is equal to okay there's a question mark uh, so we have to find the value of this okay so let's find it out so um in so in our triangle in any triangle abc uh, we can see that using sine rule uh, we get the, uh, we get to know about this that a over sine a is equal to b over sine b is equal to c over sine c okay so um, we have a summation of in the question we have a summation of sin b minus sin c or a summation of sin b minus sin c sin c so uh, we'll get that mm, let's say uh, all these are equal so we can say uh, this as k so a is equal to k sin a from here it will be a is equal to k sin a okay so we'll put the value of a in the equation in the given equation so we'll get k is a constant so we'll put outside the summation and it will be sin a sin b minus sin c okay so uh, on solving this we will get k it will be sin b k sin b minus sin c or we can say sin b here multiplied with sin a so sin sin b sin a minus sin c plus sin b sin c minus sin a plus sin c sin c sin a minus sin c is here so sin a minus sin b okay so this whole sum when we multiply them sin b sin a sin c sin b sin c sin b uh, it will be negative a whole sum will cut out and this will become k multiplied by 0 so the value for the given equation is 0 this is our final answer so the value for summation value for summation a sin b minus sin c in bracket is equal to zero i hope you understood the sine rule or sine formula or sine theorem so this is all uh, we have to know about the sine rule um, so uh, we'll discuss about the cosine rule and law of, uh, laws of cosine and uh, cosine and projection formula in our next session Till then, thank you.